Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode 14 of Ask the Sonic Heroes. We still have Team Sonic here with us, and they are ready to answer some questions. Yahoo! All right, Faker the Hedgehog, choose yeah. 1 through 86. Excuse me. Ah, uh, let's go for number 63. From MV Valdez. Dear Sonic, I dare you to say to Amy, I love you in Spanish. What? <laughs> what? Wait, okay. First of all, how did you know I know, I know Spanish? Second of all, she's not even here. Well, you can just say it to prove that you could, and maybe I could record it. Yeah, but I'm not dropping any names here. <laughs> Sonic, just take the dare. Don't be a pansy. Ugh, fine. Te amo. Te quiero. Te quiero mucho. Yo quiero estar contigo a tu lado por toda mi vida. Te quiero mucho, mi amor, mi corazón, mi vida. <laughs> just, that was way more than just I love you. <laughs> well, there's so many ways to say I love you in Spanish. It's different. It's difficult. <laughs> well, I'm sure she'll appreciate it either way. So next, let's move on to Tails. Let's do ten. From Calenteo to Tails, did you have someone teach you to be a mechanic, or did you teach yourself? That's an easy one. I taught myself. I just read a whole bunch of books, and um, yeah, I just did a lot of uh, self-learning, I guess. You're very impressive for someone who, for one, taught themselves how to read, and two, taught themselves how to build. It's really impressive. Yeah. And here I am still trying to figure out how to press play on a laptop whenever I, my movie is paused. Oh no. <laughs> Technology just confuses me. That's uh, that's alright Knuckles, that's why you have uh, Tails on speed dial to help you with all of your laptop needs. And to give no you kidding. new movies. <laughs> and to give you new yeah. movies. Better movies. Knuckles, choose a number. Let's go for number 20. From Pika Man 55 Knuckles. Do you feel left out because you don't have as many fangirls while Sonic and Tails have many? But not you know, <laughs> as many as me. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'm just gonna lay this all out here. Not having fangirls or not having a significant amount of fangirls doesn't make me feel left out. What does make me feel left out is the fact that for several games, I get shunned. I get shoved away. And what happened to Knuckles? Why is Knuckles not in here? And then all of a sudden, I show back up, and I'm a big joke. That's what makes me feel left out. I thought you liked <sighs> that version of yourself. If no, 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 no. I'm not talking about Sonic Boom. That one's cool. I'm talking about the fact in recent games, all I've been is just some character to push around. I'm the Guardian of the Master Emerald. Sadly, we have, we have Knuckles is now quite saddened by that question, it looks like. But let's go ahead and move on to the group question. Let's go number 10. To everyone from the box, to anyone and everyone, what is the weirdest or grossest thing you have ever eaten, and did you get sick from eating it? Ugh. Bucket of sushi at the intergalactic theme park. Ugh. Ugh. What in the world made you think you were going to get safe quality fish at an Eggman theme park in space? Okay, first of all, the fish there look really pretty. So I was assuming that the fish were going to be at least of some sort of top quality, but no! He just borrows it from some other place! I think I had a goldfish on my rice at one point! A goldfish! You don't serve goldfish on a sushi! Ugh, and then, ugh, just Eggman food in general. I've tried some of his stuff from Eggman Land. He even managed to screw up a chili dog! How do you do that?! Oh. Oh, that bucket of sushi incident, though. Man, Tails, I... I, I, I should have believed you. Yeah, but you didn't. <laughs> uh. There's this one time that I had to eat eggplants, and it was just the grossest thing. Can we just, like, move on? Because I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> well, how about you, Knuckles? What's the most disgusting thing that you ever ate? And did it make I you sick? really, really, really cannot stand haggis what's that? i don't know many people who can what's you that haggis haggis yes it's mm, like haggis. this it's i think it's from scotland oh yes and it's 
It's like a but it's like corned beef and like a bunch of different stuff. And it's inside the innards of another animal. It's so gross. Oh, that's oh. disgusting. Mm. Not a fan of that one. Let me tell you. Well, it looks nicely prepared in the see, pictures. See, you, know, you, know, you see, I did the same thing actually. I ate it without knowing what it was, and then I looked it up afterwards, and <laughs> I regretted it immediately. I mean, it just looks like some delightful meat product. I know it looks. No, so it's fun. inside of an it, it's inside of an intestine. <laughs> yep, yep. And they served oh. it at breakfast too. I mean, like, come on. <laughs> All right, well that was delightful. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move on to Sonic's next question. Eighty-six. Jacob McCarty. Hey. Sonic, are you tired of being rebooted every four years or so? It's it's kind of funny that people say I'm getting rebooted. I'm I'm really not. Like my my timeline's still flowing, folks. Like there's nothing really rebooty about. <laughs> what? <laughs> Go on, he Sonic. Rebooty. Booty. booty. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Get a hold of yourself. <laughs> I'm trying. Uh, okay. Oh my god. Uh, I okay. don't. There's nothing reboot-ish about you know any of my games or anything. And even Sonic Boom wasn't a reboot. It was like an alternate universe. I don't see why people think that I'm getting rebooted. Perhaps he's talking about the alternate art styles between games. Compare Sonic Unleashed to say Sonic 06 or Sonic Lost World. I guess I, it makes sense, but that's just the, you know, each game comes in with a different art director. You know, it all depends. For the record, a reboot means to discard all continuity in an established series in order to recreate characters' timeline and backstory from the start. And so what Sonic is saying is making sense. All of his continuity is still intact. Nothing has been erased in order to start from the beginning, so technically he hasn't been rebooting, despite having a few different alternate universes popping up, but none of those things that came up ended up being the new canon for his overall story. And besides, I think we all would have been affected if that was the case. Yeah, I mean, we wouldn't be sitting here talking if, if you know, if we got rebooted. Next up, let's go back to Tails. Mm -hmm. Uh, 19. From CA Cartoon Camera Girl to Tails, who do you think is the most annoying character in Ask the Sonic Heroes? Um. <laughs> okay. Ow. Silver. What? Answer. That's going to. Silver. <laughs> That's going to throw somebody under the bus. You know, I'm not going to do that, right? Because somebody's going to listen to it and then I'm going to hear an earful from it next time. <laughs> Say hey, Tails, say Jet. <laughs> you guys, stop giving him hints. This is supposed to be Tails' uh, opinion. Well, um, actually, no. You know what? I do have an answer for that. Who's it's that? Shadow. Oh. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. I'm annoying. Buddy. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're, you're staring at your phone half the time watching your Instagram. I mean, you're not even paying attention. So, like, here what? I am. Mentoring you to become a social media mogul, and you're over here criticizing me for being quote annoying end quote. <laughs> wow! High five, little buddy. I promise. Don't high five, if you I wasn't child. afraid of paying for all of this beautiful lodge, your brains. Oh would boy! Be so knuckles. Yes, that was all. Uh, pick a number one through forty. Uh, let's go for number 36. From Connor Gallagher, Knuckles, why are you smart now, but in Sonic Boom, you're an idiot? Let me get one thing, let me get one thing straight. I never claim to be smart, I just know my stuff, okay? I, I'm not the brightest with technology, because it's foreign to me. I've lived on an island all my life, where the only technology I was exposed to was Eggman's robots. That being said... I know enough from all my teachings from my ancestors, which is the primary reason as to why, you know, I know how to decipher glyphs and other things like that. Whereas in Sonic Boom, they made me some sort of chucklehead. I don't know what happened with that, but 
I know for a fact that being a guardian, you have to know a certain amount of things. You can't just go in blindly and be like, oh, okay, I'm going to be the guardian of the Master Emerald and not know a single thing. You gotta be learned in some way. Let's go ahead and move on to the group question. Tails, you can ask this one. Yay! Let's go with one. From Maria Quevedo. To Team Sonic, what Star Wars movie or TV show do you guys like, and who are your favorite characters? Oh, oh, I have an answer. I have an answer. What's that, Sonic? My favorite character is Max Rebo. Who is that? Who is that? Is that a background that character? That is a solid choice. <laughs> He's the little blue guy who just plays music. He's so cool. Dude, I've got his album on my record player right now. It is so cool. He's just this chill little guy. He just plays music in Jabba's Palace. He's so cool. Okay. <laughs> Well, what about you, Tails? Uh, who's your favorite, and which one is your favorite movie or oh, TV show? My gosh, this is very difficult because I yeah, I really like Star Wars. Um, I would have to say my favorite is Empire Strikes Back or the new one, the um, The Force Awakens. I really like both of them; they're really good. And um, my favorite character is probably. Well, it depends on which movie we're talking about, but either Han Solo or I think probably Rey. And Knuckles, how about you? Have you even well, seen these before? Yes, I have, luckily. Good. That was one of the first things that Tails let me out. So, I like A New Hope. I like episode four. That one was really nice. It just, it starts everything off really well. But, if I had to say my favorite character, I'd have to say General Grievous. Ooh, that's Who's a good that? Choice. He is so cool. He's the he bad guy in the second arms. episode. Yeah, he has four arms, and they're all meant for kicking butt. It's awesome. <laughs> he has four swords, four lightsabers. That is so cool. And yet he gets taken down so quickly. <laughs> it's very disappointing. It's very, very disappointing. Uh, well, I am not educated much in Star Wars myself, but it sounded to me like Shadow is, so really quick, Shadow, how about your two cents on this one? Well, do you want to know my opinion, or do you want me to just make fun of everybody, because I could definitely do either one of those? Uh, your, your opinion. <laughs> well, Tails is probably quite right. Empire Strikes Back is by far the best of the trilogy, the original trilogy. It's, uh, it's got that dark kind of ending where you don't really know if the good guys are going to win in the end. But uh, my favorite character would probably be Darth Vader, just because he has such a good character arc. I never said my favorite film. It would actually have to be Force Awakens. It had, it, it had so much variety in what it had to do, and it had a lot to live up to, but it did a really good job. Kind of played it safe a little, but it did a really good job reestablishing Star Wars in a, in a world that... Hasn't seen Star Wars in a long time. You know what? Sonic's right. I'm changing my favorite character. Hashtag Kylo Ren all the way. Instagramming it right now. Shadow, uh, put your phone away for like two minutes. See, or this guess, is what I mean. You know what I think is the real issue here? That it's time for Christmas questions? Super Sonic 7's commenting channel. To Sonic, if you had one chance to get any gift for anyone, who would it be? Well, I don't really think much about gift giving, mostly because I'm usually, I hear someone wants something, I have a lot of rings, and I put a down payment, and I just get it for people. But I'm usually an immediate gift giver, that being said. So now that Tails said for several months he's been wanting soldering iron, I've been collecting rings so that way I can save up and buy it for him. So I'll probably be getting him that soldering iron. Oh, that's too nice of you. Oh, well, you know, it's just how I do. Um, I'm still 11. That is from WolfGirlKZ. If you are all doing Secret Santa, who do you hope is getting you? Well, now, now that I know about what Sonic wants to get me, can I, can I say Sonic? <laughs> you, can, you can say Sonic. <laughs> well, then there you go. <laughs> Alright, how about you two? Uh, 
what to choose? I would have to say... Silver! What? What? <laughs> Excuse yeah. me? You, you, yeah, you, well, okay, hear me out on this, though. Silver is probably one of the most, I mean, for lack of a better word, innocent-minded people. He just wants to make folks happy. If anything, Christmas is kind of a, 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 a shoe in of a holiday for, you know, him wanting to give gifts. Because that's just a thing he likes doing. He likes making people happy. He doesn't feel like he doesn't, you know, he doesn't want to be a burden. So he gives people stuff that is nice. Are you sure you're not just going to end up with a light bright? Oh. I, well, 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 here's the thing. He gets light brights. I don't <laughs> think he wants to have anybody suffer through that. How about you then, Naki? Who do you want to be your secret Santa? Well, we don't normally participate in secret Santas during Kwanzaa, but... Probably... Vanilla. Cream's mom. Oh, really? Why's that? Because she makes amazing pies. And cookies. And she just really... Her gift giving is usually wanting to, like, just pass out food and... Well, I'm not one for material possessions, so I would just rather have a nice meal. All right, well, that sounds reasonable. And next, we're going to go ahead to another Christmas question. This time, Knuckles, you can ask the question that... Let's uh, go for number six! I said Knuckles. Oh, whoops, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sonic, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was... Simmer down there, Sorry. Sonic. It's Knuckles' I went too turn. fast. <laughs> yeah, jeez. Sorry. This is from Cool Commentaries. To everyone who can answer the questions, what part of Christmas do you cherish and love the most? Thank you and have a very Merry Christmas. Believe it or not, aside from the obvious togetherness, because, you know, I just, I really like being around all you guys. But I think the thing that always gets me about Christmas is the aesthetic of it all. Just how it looks. Everything's all bright reds and whites and and greens and bright colors to agor uh, to adorn it all and it just really 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 looks super nice and pretty and just it's just happy and plus it matches the you know the pattern of my shoes which is nice <laughs> lovely all right <laughs> how about you tails what do you what part of christmas do you cherish and love the most um well Sonic kind of already said it. I mean, I really love spending time with everyone because a lot of the times I'm working on things and I don't have the opportunity to spend time with people. So Christmas is always nice because it gives me a reason to stop working. Um, oh, good. But um, that and, I mean, I, I love what it looks like when, when, when the snow first falls on the trees. It's so pretty. That's probably my favorite part otherwise. Well, it's something you can see from your workshop window anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> I guess that's the first sign that Christmas is here. Yeah, and it's, it's always, it it's, makes me so happy and excited and I love it. All right, and what about you, Nucky? Well, obvious Kwanzaa comment aside, I think I have to, I think I have to say, the one thing that I can appreciate about Christmas is that, for one, yes, everyone is together, which I have to say is nice after being alone for so long. Um, I... is <laughs> gonna make me sound kind of one-dimensional here, but uh, I just really like the fact that I have warm meals. I end up having to hang on out with Sonic and Tails and everybody else and... And we all eat warm meals, and it's nice. It's a nice change for me. Okay, well, that wraps up all of the normal questions, and we are going to have one very last, most popular questions of the session. This time, interestingly enough, it is a Christmas-themed question, so we're going to end up on this one. And... Actually, we were going to have Amy Rose dropping in to ask us this question really quick, just for fun. All right, I've got her on my phone. Amy, why don't you pop in to ask this last popular question? Hello, everybody. The next popular question that we're going to ask for the show... Hi, Sonic! Hey, hey, hey Amy. <laughs> 
Anyway, the question we're going to do is a mistletoe roulette. This time, oh, everybody in the comment section asked about mistletoe questions for you guys, and we ended up collecting about five that were different enough for them to count. So, we're doing mistletoe roulette. Sonic, you pick one through five. Uh, and don't pick anything that chooses anyone else but me. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, number... Uh, gosh, do we really have to do this? Number one through five. Three. Okay, this one is from Nya Nya Blue. To everyone, since Christmas is coming soon, who would you want to go under the mistletoe with and why? Mm, I prefer not to go under the mistletoe. I can second that notion. Sonic's gonna answer me, <laughs> right? Poop. Okay, I just hung up on Amy. She doesn't need to know the answer, but so now you're not under so much pressure. Who are you going under the mistletoe with, gentlemen? Um... um. Ah, <laughs> uh, what is, what is with you guys with mistletoes? Um. Well, I don't know. A whole lot of people sure asked. You, you know, know, there's an old saying from Batman: mistletoe can be deadly if you eat it, but a kiss can be even deadlier if you mean it. Ooh. Uh, I just don't want to think about it. Everybody wants to know about it. We also have additional people who asked the same question. That would be Sonic and Tails fanboy 456, Mistu Shipper again, Greg Dalgleish, P6A Patriots, and Lana the Cat, among many, 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 many others. Everyone should just pick me. That'll make it easy. I'm clearly Good. the one everybody wants the most. Uh, Brooch. Uh, you know you agree with that. Uh, fine, you, there, done, D don't have to do it anymore. Uh, I uh, win one point. The rest of you still need to answer. Let's go, chop chop. Guys, go, move along, I, I want to go home. Uh, fine, Amy, since I've already kissed her once before, f just don't tell her I said that. You sound so excited about it. Okay, what about you, Tails? Not excited. Last one. I probably have to say, uh, Cosmo. Oh. Oh, yeah. Do you still have that plant in your windowsill? I do. Uh, oh, no, dear. Nobody needs to know about that, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least oh, she's there right. for the holidays. Yeah, Hooray! so that's nice. All right, and, you know, by the way, I happen to have a mistletoe right here on my own ear, so, hey, Naki! No, get away from me! Come back, you know you want to, you said so! No, 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 no! <laughs> no, no! <laughs> We're ending Come this episode on, get now! Back Bye, here. everyone! You know you want to! Get back here, you red man! This is Rouge signing out. I've gotta go chase this guy down. <laughs> I'm catching up, Knuckles! This is Shadow the Hedgehog. There is mass chaos going on here. I'm going to go where it's a little more peaceful. Sayonara. Uh, uh, this is Knuckles and I'm... No! No! Back! <laughs> this is Sonic the Hedgehog and... Can I just say? It's glad... It's, I'm so glad to be back, guys. Um, well, this is Tails and I will see you guys later. And I'm with Sonic. I am so happy to see you guys again, and I can't wait to do more. Bye, everybody! I got him! Ah!